All right, so you present today with some uh, right-sided chest pain, and what happened? Um, I was at the job uh, this morning, and I shot a guilty shotgun in the air, and I just felt felt like something on my side and my back had them gave and tightened up, so I came on down here. All right, and you've used this nail gun for 14 uh, years. You, a many, long time, many years. A long time, and this has never happened to you before. And you had your arm up in the air. Show us how your arm was like that. And it recoiled, and all of a sudden you had pain in your all chest. On my side and my chest and back. All right. Did it hurt to breathe? Did it hurt to move? Did no, it didn't hurt to breathe, but it hurt to move. Okay. All right. Our working diagnosis was that you probably had subluxed or dislocated a rib. And working on that premise, we went ahead and, and did a procedure on your back. What happened during that procedure? Um, he popped the bone. I felt the bone pop, and I felt a lot of pain that I came in with, a lot of that left as soon as he, All right. as soon as he touched me with his hands. We did a chest x-ray, and, and the chest x-ray was normal. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is, uh, Davis, would you go ahead and demonstrate what you did? Yeah, go ahead and down again for me. Your back. So the first thing I did is I isolated the area that was that was hurt the most, and his his pain was pretty localized, so specific rib, but right around here, correct, sir. Mm -hmm. um, that point, I took the the heel of my my hand and came in underneath here and started to apply a little bit of pressure. And then I used this other hand here to kind of stabilize and provide traction, and then I had the patient take a deep breath in and all the way out, and you apply good forceful downward down and angled outward type pressure um, and uh, in, in one quick motion uh, the rib popped back into place had initial pain of course with that that but uh, then began having immediate relief excellent